Thank you, Madam Speaker, for according me this moment to deliver my maiden speech. Before I get into the speech, I would like to acknowledge the lives that were lost during the elections. Danny Kassong, a young man that was beaten to death campaigning in Kanyama. The funeral was held in Kolomawad 1 of Chauna constituency. Zebedia Sumkoko, a youth who died and, and was stabbed by a screwdriver in Lilai Wad 4 of Chauna constituency and many others. Let us please observe a moment of silence. Honorable member, just proceed. There is no uh, uh, point of... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. May, the, oh, just a, a moment. May their souls... Yes, rest yeah. in just peace. a moment, order. We are not going to observe a minute of silence because that is... Thank you, Madam Speaker. May their souls on, rest in eternal hold on, peace. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The sure. calling for a point uh, for a minute of silence is putting the chair in an embarrassing position. So I advise members to resist from that issue Madam of Speaker, calling I've for, been a guided. Point, uh, for a minute of silence. Thank you, Madam Post Speaker. Proceed. I've been guided. May their souls rest in eternal peace. I will first start by thanking the Almighty God for making it possible for me to stand before this August House today. I would also like to thank my campaign manager, my biggest supporter my best friend and my husband, Patrick, my family and all my campaign teams. Last but not least, the people of Chawama for voting for me. They have continued to support me from the time that I was counsel of Nkoloma Ward 1. I am truly humbled to have been chosen to represent the people of Chawama. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Patriotic Front for adopting me as their candidate. A special thanks goes out to the sixth Republican president, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu, for the sacrifices and selfless service that he has rendered to this country over the past six years. His leadership weathered all kinds of storms, and his legacy is that of infrastructure development and farming support. The infrastructure development includes the Chawama First Level Hospital, the Kazungula Bridge, and the new Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, which President Hichilema himself used on his way to the General Conference. The infrastructure development is the key ingredient to national development. Let me also take this opportunity to thank the youth and the women of Chawama for their support during the campaigns. The victory is for them. As one who easily relates to their challenges, I will be sure to support them. Madam Speaker, let me also take this rare opportunity to address the young people of Chawama, as well as the rest of this, uh, as well as the rest of the young people of this country. If we are to have sanity in this country, and in the spirit of our tradition, we need to respect our elders. Yeah, yeah. Most of this country's population is youthful, hence the need to have more young people in leadership positions. Madam Speaker, I am indeed honored to stand before you today in this regard. Modern society has come with many wonderful inventions, such as the internet and social media. The problem comes in when these platforms are misused. We have seen many young people in social media insult elders, each other and spread falsehoods. Some self-introspection needs to be conducted by all of us as Zambians and as Africans. The act of, di of disrespecting our elders, speaking ill of each other and of our own country in itself has many consequences. The obvious one is that it decreases investor confidence in our economies as it shows the world that we have no confidence in our own systems. Madam Speaker, social media is a platform that we can use to communicate positive messages about ourselves and our country to the world. Why would others want to believe in us if we cannot believe in ourselves? It is important that we continue to uphold our national values and our heritage. When I was growing up as a girl in America, I was bullied and disrespected by fellow classmates simply because I was African. My classmates were brainwashed by the mainstream American media to view Africans as docile. Their responsibility to, to promote our culture and build our economies is ours. As one of my role models also always says, 
we who have been, we, we are who we have been waiting for. No one is coming to save us. Madam Speaker, most of the American friends that I have, including those who look like me, at some point believed that we were superior to them, that we Africans were superior to them. The sooner that we Africans start creating and celebrating our own successes, the better off we will be. The other day, I read about a certain company that had 90% shareholding by foreign nationals and only 10% shareholding by Zambians coming to invest in a, mine, in a mining sector in two districts in the outskirts of Lusaka. We have seen cases where investors come in with practically nothing. Their only capital is their skin color and walk away with, with wealth at the cost of our citizens. A certain mining firm has all of a sudden started recording profits. A month ago, it was reporting losses. This company is now being operated by Zambians. Madam Speaker, let me take this opportunity to express my disappointment over the high levels of violence that is taking place. In the history of our country, we have never experienced a time when an election celebration was characterized by violence in an unbelievable manner. Where to an extent we? where the people were beaten, shopping malls and markets were looted. Yeah. Surely, can we call this an, a celebration? Following the announcement of the election results, citizens were attacked and most of them have been displaced from their homes as well as business places. Vainam Songole, a resident of Chawama, South Salaul and Town Center, just the other day, her stand was broken down and her merchandise was looted. Simply because she was affiliated to a certain political party. A young woman by the name of Alice Mwantawalia, also a Salaula trader, was displaced from her trading place in Chawama simply because it was rumored that her husband was a member of a certain political party. We cannot continue to divide, to be divided on political lines. Madam Speaker, this is happening. What has happened to the one Zambia, one, one nation model? I will leave this to each one of us in this house to introspect. I am sure that order, most of us order. have seen a disturbing video of a young man being undressed and beaten in a humiliating scene at a bus station. The president has denounced Qatarism and promoted law and order. However, the opposite is taking place. Every day, people are being brutalized by Qatars at bus stations. Madam Speaker, I have heard members in this house argue that the government needs to be given time to settle down. This is simply unacceptable. Madam Speaker, the Zambian people need leadership, not lip service. The government has been honeymooning for the past one month. Enough is enough. How much more time do we need to give them before we see more people beaten and killed? Where have we put the value for human life? In the last 24 hours, a picture of law enforcement officer in a uniform, hacked, covered in blood, and brought down to his knees, has been circulating on social media. Madam Speaker, this again comes back to the lack of national values and lack of respect for authority. Madam Speaker, the nation needs to know that the president means what he says. Another issue of national importance that I would like to tackle is the issue of street vendors. We have seen images of street vendors whose mobile money booths were removed from the streets. Madam Speaker, we need to trade carefully in this territory or else we will end up with more lawbreakers. These people have not been offered an alternative source of income. If street vendors are abruptly displaced from their trading places, crimes such as petty thefts and house breakings will increase. This will overwhelm the law enforcement officers. Madam Speaker, I thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I will debate yeah, 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 on the motion yeah, yeah. on the floor at a later time. Thank you very much. Thank you.